Hey guys, what's up? My name is Justine and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about block printing. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is sketch out my design. I'm just using simple geometric shapes for this project, but you can use whatever you want. Then I grabbed my linoleum cutter and I started to cut away the negative space. Remember the spots that you don't carve away will be the places that pick up the ink, so just keep that in mind when you're carving. Since I'm carving away a big portion of this block, I'm using one of the larger bits that came in my set. The cutter that I have has a little compartment in the back of the handle where the extra bits are stored. I'll link it in the description below. I'm using Easy Cut Linoleum for this project, but you can also use wood or even other types of linoleum. Just make sure whatever you use that you are always cutting away from yourself, never toward yourself because that linoleum cutter is sharp. If you're trying to get a clean line in the middle of a block, sometimes it can be helpful going in and pre-cutting with an X-Acto blade. That way when you carve, you can carve right up to that slice and it'll leave you with a clean cut. Once you have your ink blocks ready to go, you're going to want to find a flat surface and something to print on. You can use paper or fabric, but for this project I'm using a heavier cotton rag paper, which I'll link below. Most art stores are going to have a printmaking paper section, and anything in there will work for this project. I'm planning on printing my blocks in kind of a grid, so I just went ahead and drew a very light guideline for myself. Once you're ready to print, it's time to roll out your ink. The best way to do this is to use a piece of glass, but since I don't have one, I just wrapped an old sketchbook in some tin foil. If you decide to get into printmaking, I definitely suggest using the glass from an old picture frame as a palette. So you're going to squirt out a little bit of ink and use your brayer to go up and down and then side to side. The goal is to get an even layer of ink on your palette and on your brayer. I'm using a water-based ink on this project since I'm just printing on paper, but some people prefer oil, especially if they're printing on fabric, so just play around and figure out what you like. To ink your block, you're going to do the same thing you did to get the ink on the palette. You're going to get your brayer nice and coated and then go up and down and side to side. And then to print, you're gonna carefully place your block down and apply a little pressure from the back. I'm just using a clean brayer to do this. Some people use wooden spoons, it's totally up to you. Just make sure not to move the block at all, otherwise you'll get an uneven print. 
And that's pretty much it. The process for block printing is super easy and you can get as detailed or as simple as you want with it. You can print on fabric, on paper, whatever you want. And for more inspiration, you can always check out my full blog post, which is linked below. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on block printing, you can leave them in the comments below. And for more inspiration, you can always check out my blog. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe. I'll see you next time.